This is Phil Copeman, and I'll be working through cyclic redundancy check division examples. To compute a cyclic redundancy check, one takes polynomial division and uses the remainder but ignores the quotient. The CRC result is the data word appended with some zeros mod the CRC polynomial. We'll use an example of a 3-bit data word, hexadecimal 5 binary 101. We'll compute a 5-bit CRC based on that 3-bit data word. To do this, we append a 5-bit 0 check value as a starting value to then compute the real check value at the end. The polynomial equivalent of this code word is 101x to the 7th plus 0x to the 6th plus x to the 5th for the data word portion, and 0 coefficients on the x to the 4th through x to the 0th terms for the initial check value used for the computation. We use a 5-bit CRC with polynomial value hexadecimal 25, 100101. Other polynomials could be used, but that's the one we'll use for the example. Those binary digits correspond to the coefficients of a polynomial 1x to the 5th plus 1x squared plus 1x to the 0, with the other terms being 0. To compute the CRC's check value, we compute x to the 7th plus x to the 5th mod x to the 5th plus x squared plus 1. We do this computation using a somewhat familiar long division algorithm, except with all the digits being binary. So the division just takes down the coefficients of the polynomial, 1x to the 7th plus 1x to the 5th, with the other terms being 0, and a divisor, 1x to the 5th plus x squared plus 1, with the other coefficients being 0. And from there, we compute a long division. As with any long division, you first do a trial subtraction and see if the result fits into the remaining dividend. In this case, the divisor, 100101, does fit, so we do a subtraction. But it's not an ordinary subtraction, because this is polynomial math. We do it on a coefficient by coefficient basis, and because the coefficients are limited to binary values, we use an XOR operation, exclusive OR. That gives us a result of 001101, and two more zeros pulled down from the dividend. Note that the top coefficient is 0, which is the point of any long division algorithm. At each step, one needs to cancel out the topmost digit to result in a 0, and then move one digit to the right for the next step. As a reminder, I've put in the arithmetic facts for XOR. You can see on a column by column basis that 1 XOR 1 is 0, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 1 is 1, and so on. Now we're done with that step, and it's time for the next conditional XOR, one bit to the right. This time, however, the divisor is too big to be subtracted from the remaining dividend, so instead of doing the XOR, we cancel it out and do no operation. That still ensures that the topmost bit is zero, so that coefficient drops out, and we're left with 110100 as the remaining dividend. One more time, we do a conditional XOR. We see that this time, the top bits are both 1, and so this will work. We run the XOR, and we get a remainder that has the top bit 0 as guaranteed by the algorithm, with the bits that matter being 10001, which is x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x1 plus 1. There's nothing more to do with the division because we've used up all the bits, and so we go back and revisit the code word and say, well, the top three bits of the code word are the data word. That didn't change. That's 101. But now we know what the check value is for the CRC. In fact, it's the remainder from this polynomial division. So the remainder is 10001, and that gives us a code word that has a three-bit data word and a five-bit check value. And with that, we're done. We've computed the CRC for this code word.